Kalau juga, Din. Semalam, semalam ni. No, 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 no. The water's warm, yes? It's hard to absorb what had happened earlier, but hey, guess what? We should have moved forward here. Let's try to finish strong here. I have been pulling most of my shot today. So left side is definitely my buddy here for the day. I remember having about 135-ish to carry the bunker and I took a pitching wedge for here. Needed the loft to clear the tallest tree. Hit it well, just not enough. I'd rather miss it short into the bunker than having it long over the green. Before the bunker. So on to the next hole, it's a par 5, trying to reset myself, trying to recompose and I hit a decent shot here, also missing slightly to the left. At first I was thinking, okay, missing to the left a bit here, would not have issue for my second shot until I reach my ball here. Oh well, what I can do here is just try to punch the ball back onto the fairway and hope for a good third shot in. Can I do shit when you're under the tree? So my third shot here probably I'm having about 80-ish here. At one point I thought I might have the chance because it was tracking and then it came out a bit short. Never mind it's still on the green. Still have a decent chance for birdie here. Meanwhile Trying to make this part. At first, I thought I have nailed the part. Eventually, just like by, so it's a par. While trying to do some, trying to capture some good photo moments for my buddy here. On the third <laughs> hole here, we waited about ten minutes for the front flight to clear. <laughs> And then I proceeded to sky my drive again, left side, hit some trees, and then nowhere to be found. Countless time, I was chased by the monkey within the area here. Oh well, took myself some time to locate my ball. And I have a little gap here where I took a six iron to punch it out. Fortunately, the ball still goes. I admit I dafted the shot a bit. And I have about 35 meters chip here. The pin was tucked way right. Uh, sorry, way left. I was lucky to keep myself below the hole here where I saw all my flight mates having to struggle with three or four parts. So running away with a bogey here. Proceeding to the fourth hole, it's a uh, par three. Uh, 155 meters par 3 here and again we waited probably close to another 20 minutes for the front two flights to clear I took an 8 iron here just hoping to find the green middle of the green here so I took a smash indeed it went a bit left but somehow it's still on the green and hoping to catch a birdie here 
not really just wanted a two part but if I can make this birdie it will, it will definitely be a bonus here So, far, two over after four. This is the next hole where my drive landed. I have some three branches blocking my approach shot here. I'm hitting a low fade here with a six iron. Just trying to place the ball as close to the green. Oh. I did something better here, I found mm. the green. Good job, good job. But it was on the left side, the green was on the right. So from here it was a downhill part, fast green, downhill part, left to right, probably. I'll be happy walking away with two parts here any day. Leaving myself maybe three feet to clean up for par. And yep, a good par there. The next hole, it's also another hole where everyone is hoping to score in a hole in one because the price for today, it's a condominium in Malacca. Yeah, we waited probably another 20 to 25 minutes here. It's about 175 meters to the hole. So I did use a 6 iron yesterday here and I got it as close as 5 feet for my birdie. So feeling confident here while waiting for my time to hit my shot 6 iron a bit of breeze uh, cannot recall where the breeze is coming from but it's a 6 iron shot it's a, it's a shot where I actually faded slightly to the right All so right. there goes my my hole in one using a 56 here trying to play a low bump and run here trying to put it as close as possible to the hole Nothing fancy. In a car, the previous hole. Sorry guys, I actually tee off already without my cameraman knowing. I should have just controlled my pace a little bit more here. And my drive actually landed here. A condition where I could not actually attack the pin I have to take a club to hack it out back to the fairway Alright, using a 56 here, 38 meters to the hole. I'm trying to visualize where my ball should land. It should be a right to left uh, drop. So pick your reference point and be confident with your chip. Place your ball there. So it landed where I actually wanted it to land and it got some spin just inches away from the hole from holding out from where I was. So this is a quick tap in here for my par. Very lucky to get away with it. So on to the next hole. It's a pretty straightforward decent par 5. It's a scoring hole here. Uh, a well hit drive here. Just a bit right. Should catch the fairway. Uh, wait another 10 minutes. You know, for the green to clear. Not a good, so good approach shot, but then a decent chip here. Somehow leaving myself probably about 25 feet. And I knew this birdie part. Yep. Finally having one birdie part on the back nine. So what you can see from the top right here is I'm literally on the cut line now. So this is by far the best drive of the day, leaving myself not more than 150 in 
probably about 140 ish with a 9 iron aiming right slightly bunker spot trying to pull the shot a little bit but eventually the ball went so straight and it found the bunker so neither the up and down from the bunker to secure my spot to play tomorrow hit a so so average bunker shot out leaving myself a testy little par part you know i have to make the par part to play tomorrow and this is the outcome hope you guys enjoy this episode and hoping to have a good 2024 season ahead i wish you all the best for this coming season and i'll see you on the next one till then <laughs>